Some of you are feeling resistant to charging money for your gifts because they're spiritual. You're in resistance to charging for spiritual gifts. I've had the honor of working with almost half a million women from all over the world for the last decade, helping them create high-ticket programs out of gifts that are deeply spiritual in nature. So I want to share just a few things you can do to get to the front side of that fear or resistance so that you can bring your gifts to the world with an open heart. So first of all, One of the things that can come up when we go to charge money for our spiritual gifts is it can feel like we're taking a part of our heart out of our body and then putting it out there for people to pay for. And that can be incredibly vulnerable. And I just want to acknowledge that that feeling of vulnerability is okay. You're a human. You're not a robot. You're taking something that's near and dear to your heart and you're putting it out there for people to charge for. And in doing that, you also run the risk of the judgment, the uh, competition, the projection that can come up in that dynamic. And so first of all, I want to invite you to just be really gentle with yourself to remember that you are a human and that you are having a human experience bringing these gifts to the world. Take a breath into that and know that this journey that you're on to bring your gifts in exchange for money, it's a spiritual journey in and of itself. And that I really believe our souls designed this journey before we even got here. And so what if, just possibly what if, This journey of you charging for your spiritual gifts is part of your self-actualization in this lifetime. It's possible that you might not even be bringing these gifts to the world in the way that you are if you didn't need the money. And so what if the pressure of needing the financial support, obviously you could go do other things for the money, but what if that pressure is actually forming the gemstone? of your next chapter of your gift, right? Diamonds and gemstones are formed under pressure. And so I really believe that there is an opportunity to embrace the financial pressure to not make it wrong, to be in the human experience of, yes, I'm on a path of building a business where I need to make money and the clients that I'm serving need my transformation, And so the places where we say to ourselves, oh, no, no, I don't want to be in need. I don't want to be needy. I don't want to have run that vibration of neediness in an enrollment conversation, certainly, or on a webinar or on stage. The tricky thing, though, is, is that what you resist persists. And if you try to push that feeling of neediness away, it can actually get stronger. And I know you probably know what I'm talking about. And so what if there was another way? And what if that way actually had to do with you being human and being a part of a community of humans that need to make money to live on planet Earth, right? It's a part of what we need to live here in this human existence. And what if that was okay that you needed the money and what you're looking for is the clients who need the transformation that you're offering? And I think the thing to unplug from is that we don't need any particular client to hire us because we don't want to be dependent on that one person hiring us to be able to pay our rent, right? Let's not put that much pressure on ourselves. So if that's how much pressure is on you, you may want to think about another way to bring money in, uh, getting a roommate, getting that financial pressure off just enough so that you can show up resourced in a healthy level of mutual collaboration and and a healthy level of knowing that human beings do need each other, right? We're interdependent. There's only one of us here. One of my spiritual mentors says, the only thing we ever really need to heal is this sense of separation, right? Says Reverend Deborah Johnson, one of my dear, dear and beloved friends. And I think when we can approach an enrollment conversation or an offer that we might be making from stage or on a webinar from a place of healthy, mutual interdependency, we can be in the grace of letting people know this is what I have to offer. 
And this is what I charge. And if this is a fit for you, if you're needing this outcome, and I have a transformational opportunity. I have a three-month, a six-month transformational program where this is what's available. This is who you can be after going through a transformation like this, right? And then we pull ourselves out of the time for dollar mentality. We pull ourselves out of nickel and diming ourselves for the work that we do. Uh, we craft a transformational experience and we charge for that. I think some of us forget that people actually get value in our programs because they invest, not in spite of. So for those of you who are thinking to yourself, gosh, I mean, wouldn't it just be great if the government or somebody could just send me a check for ten or $20,000 a month and then I could stop worrying about money and, and then I could just give my gifts for free? But that thinking has some cracks in it as well because some of the biggest transformations that I've gotten and that my clients have gotten over time have also come from investing. We choose to invest in ourselves. We choose to invest in our relationships, our health, our career, our intuition, right? We choose to invest in these aspects of our life because we value these aspects of our lives. And we even choose to find the money because having a transformation in that area of our lives becomes that important to us and finding the money becomes part of the transformation. Money's like glue. We put our money where we want to have a transformation. And so I want to invite you to consider embracing that, yes, you are charging. There's an investment to have a transformation. And what if your clients were to receive an even greater transformation because they said yes to investing, not just in working with you, but because they also said yes to the investment. And I know that many of you have had a spiritual teacher in your life who maybe poured into you for maybe a small amount of money, maybe without really charging you at all. Maybe there was some kind of a, a trade agreement or maybe there was a sliding scale donation agreement where you went and you um, were poured into and you had an incredible transformation and you didn't really spend a lot of money for that transformation. So I'd like to speak into that for a moment. How beautiful that you now are carrying that transformation and you get to give that to other people. I think it's essential we honor our teachers. I think it's essential we give credit where credit's due. If, if, if a spiritual teacher over the years poured into us and now you're working that exercise or that philosophy into your mentorship programs to give them credit. Let them know where that came from. Let your clients know where that came from. That's going to be honoring and and really clean up that, that lineage, that honoring that lineage and um, supporting the exchange of money. Because just because you might have had a teacher that didn't charge doesn't mean that you shouldn't charge. Right. Because that reasoning doesn't it doesn't add up just because one person decides one thing doesn't mean that we should all do the same thing. We all have a different life path. We all have different dharma. We all have different karma. We all have a different soul journey. And it's possible that you had a teacher who came in to give their gifts. And one of uh, the opportunities that that teacher had was to receive in other ways. Maybe they had a source of income. But if you're in a situation where you need the money. To compare yourself to that spiritual teacher is almost like arguing with reality. So I invite you to, again, come back to center and come back to this spiritual journey as a spiritual entrepreneur that is your journey. It's a nobody else's journey. It's your journey, and nobody gets to take that away from you. And your opportunity if money is required for you to be able to give your gifts, your opportunity then is to embrace this next level of learning and learn to ask for the sale. You know, Reverend Michael Beckwith says, one of the reasons why we make money is so that we can take, take exquisite care of ourselves, exquisite care of our body temple, right? One of the reasons we make money is so that we can feed ourselves organic, nourishing, delicious food. We can um, higher body work to take care of these precious bodies that we're traveling through life in 
We make money so that we can invest in divine housing and have a roof over our heads that feels safe and and beautiful so that we can then go be contributors on planet Earth, so we can give, so we can contribute in all the ways that we know how to do, right? To not try to rescue everybody around us, but to determine that one gift that's ours to give and then to be responsible and courageous enough to put that sign on the door to say, this is what I have to offer. And for those of you that would like to walk through this door, for those of you that would like to have this gift, this is how I offer it. I offer this gift through the form of a three-month transformational program, a six-month transformational program, a 12-month transformational program. And to rest in the structure, the knowingness that money is attracted to order. Right? It even says so in the Bible and in many spiritual texts, there's some version of this quote that money loves order. Money is attracted to order. And so I would argue that you're taking all of the experiences that you've had in your lifetime, the gifts that you've gotten from probably more than one teacher or spiritual teacher, you're repackaging it, you're restructuring it into a transformational program, and your opportunity is to add enough value that your clients then see the value that your three-month program or your 12-month program, right, it's, it's worth this value that then you're charging. You're not just saying, I'm going to throw out a $10,000 program. You're asking, how could I create an experience that would be worth 10 times that much money? How could I create an experience that would be worth $50,000 or $100,000, right? Like somebody could have that big of a transformation. You can't put a price tag on a health transformation, a relationship transformation, a career transformation, right? So you build the value of your program, and then you confidently align with charging for that transformation because you know that when people pay, they pay attention. I hope this was helpful, right? People get a transformation because they invested, not in spite of. And not every teacher needs to charge for their gifts. But if this is your life opportunity, this is your chance to surrender to the self-actualization, the self-growth that can happen when you say, yes, this is mine to do. And yes, I step into the humility of being a human who needs the money, knowing that other people are going to need my gifts. And I'm looking for those divine partnerships with other humans who want to enter into an agreement where I'm pouring into them. And they're investing through money. It's all an energy exchange. You got this. Your clients are waiting. They're not waiting for someone like you. They're actually waiting for you. If this resonates, if this way of thinking resonates, we have a three-day rock sales retreat coming right up. It's coming up in just a few days. So check out the details for that three-day retreat here alongside this video. We'll we'll drop the link in here for you. But the opportunity is to spend three days with us getting our proven sales framework that just works for women. It's a very feminine sales framework. We're going to spend the whole first day supporting you with your message clarity, the second day supporting you with a money mindset transformation. And the third day, we're going to be sharing a marketing up level, helping you actually craft a 90-day launch plan and really stepping into the next iteration of your gifts. This is not one of those events where we just talk at you the entire time. This is an experiential, hands-on, done-with-you event where you're going to have a chance to work in small groups and breakout rooms with other incredible women leaders who attend the event and actually be creating your marketing materials, practicing the sales conversation, and up-leveling your business while you're with us. This is one of the most valuable things that we do all year. And The ticket price is extremely affordable. We brought it down to a 90% discount. So grab a seat if you haven't already. And if this way of doing business just resonates with you, and it would be our honor to see you there. Don't forget to hit subscribe so I can keep getting you weekly content to grow your business that is relevant, authentic, and effective. So you can get out there and shine your light and be the messenger that you're here to be because your clients are waiting for you.